In this learning dialogue, let us look at the principles and strategies available to us to engage learners in the content uh, in the form of a video. Let us begin with a reflection spot. A class 9 instructor, Hema, wants to create content videos for her lesson on atoms and molecules in a chemistry course. She decides to record a 2 hour long video to cover concepts like atoms, ions, molecules, atomic mass and many other topics and subtopics which are required for that content. She consults you about designing the 2 hour long video. What will your main suggestion be? Choose the best answer among the choices given and then resume the learning dialogue. Let us discuss the various options provided uh, as to what suggestions someone could have given him. The first suggestion, first possible suggestion was to include visuals to make the video attractive. While this may be important and it may improve engagement or something at some point, it is not the first design decision that you will take. Also, if you are thinking about visuals, they need to be pedagogically meaningful and not included just for attractiveness. The other options were related to the length of the video. It is very important to break the video into multiple smaller videos, 2 hours is just too long. However, for keeping the video length at a fixed length in the option it said 20 minutes, there is no real justification that a video must exactly be of 10 minutes or 12 minutes or 20 minutes or 3 minutes. There, there is no guiding principle that tells us that. The key point in breaking up a longer video into multiple smaller videos is to identify logical breakpoints and then decide how to chunk the videos. So, the main design principle here is called chunking and what chunking means is that certain content needs to be broken up into meaningful smaller units. So, that is all behind chunking, but the two keywords here, well there are three keywords, one is broken up, one is smaller units and the main thing that we have to pay attention to is meaningful. So, how do we break a longer piece of content, how do we go about deciding to identify smaller pieces of it, meaningful smaller pieces? So, one way to do it is to think of naturally occurring pause points and as an instructor, we know where these pause points are. For example, after explaining a small concept for example, uh, we want to give an example that could be a pause point. Another pause point could be when a particular topic needs to be delved into further details or when a slight digression needs to be made from a main topic into a slightly different topic. Sometimes there is a need to clarify a particular point, a difficult point, perhaps uh, in a classroom you would know this because there will be a question at that point. Sometimes a demonstration may be required to clarify a certain concept more. So, these are all points where it is natural to take a breath really, it is natural to pause and these can be identified to create meaningful chunks. So, when you are creating a short video, first do this chunking uh, with the content and this can be done on paper before you go ahead and record or be before anything is done with the technology and then decide whether one chunk or two chunks should be included into one video. In this course, you would have seen that we have several learning dialogues even in one topic and you can start noticing this now that each learning dialogue deals with one or maybe two chunks at a time. In addition to chunking, another key design principle is to intersperse chunks with activities. Now that we saw the key design principles of chunking and interspersing the chunk with activities, let us look at some strategies to incorporate these design principles so that we address learner engagement with the content. 
The first one of course was to make videos short and we can put the short in quotes because it is really up to the instructor and instructional designer to decide how short they are. But the way to do it is to identify the logical pause points and the chunks. Another strategy is to annotate videos at key points so that a learner can jump back and forth uh, within the video, within the subtopics of the video. To enable navigation, the click backward and click forward pauses can be included. Another strategy is to intersperse small activities between the chunk where the logical pause point is. A good example of this is the reflection spot that we use in this very course. We can also include short assessment questions, formative assessment questions in between the chunks where a learner can click a multiple choice question just like you did at the beginning of this learning dialogue. So why are these design principles and strategies important? Chunking helps learners manage their intrinsic cognitive load. So it avoids overloading working memory and learners are able to pay attention only to small chunks at a time. And this gives them control over the flow of new information. It also helps them focus attention on the key points. So even some amount of challenge, some amount of difficulty could be desirable here so long as learners attention is focused on the particular chunk and that particular content which is being discussed at that time. It helps to emphasize the structure of the information. These strategies which affect the working memory and learner attention can lead to improved learner engagement with the content. What are the takeaways for us as designers of learner centric e-content? One, do not create long lecture videos, instead chunk videos into shorter meaningful units based on naturally occurring pause points. And two, intersperse content with activities and assessment, include interactivity, include learner control by strategies such as reflection spots, learning by doing activities and formative assessment in between the video. In the next few learning dialogues, we will look at a few other strategies for engaging learners with the content. Some of them address in video content activities within a video and some are how to in, uh, engage learners in the content by creating activities in between videos. Thank you. Thank you.